Well, here we are in this early part of the tropical season, both in the eastern Pacific and the Atlantic. Um, things are somewhat active. We had two major hurricanes already this week in the uh, eastern portions of the Pacific. One late last week and another one here this week with Bud. Uh, that system could bring some rain to the southwest, but we are dealing with heat now and then still talking about some spotty severe weather concerns. Well, there's a look at Tropical Storm Bud as of, uh, say, mid-morning on Wednesday. Winds down to 65 miles per hour, but the overall track takes that farther north. Again, still a fairly decent system. It was impressive 24 hours ago when it had 130 mile per hour winds classified as a Category 4. It will be impacting the southern tip of the Baja California Peninsula later this week as a potential tropical storm and then bringing with it some of that tropical moisture into the southwest. So we'll be watching for that. Uh, the monsoon moisture is going to start to increase. I think we do have a better chance of maybe seeing that continue or at least start a little bit earlier this season, which is great news for the southwest as we are dealing with extreme and exceptional drought. But there's your seven-day rainfall forecast, which does show some of that moisture from bud lifting north. And then on the heels of that, we have a, a low probability of a tropical system forming with that wave south of Mexico, and then in the Atlantic Basin, another low probability with that wave drifting northwest over the Yucatan over that five-day period. So again, Phoenix, you're going to be getting some rain potentially, but uh, definitely hot today, up to 111, and then watching some thunderstorms to be Friday into Saturday, but there are the excessive heat warnings, where again, the temperatures here will be topping out at 110 to maybe even 120, especially for folks in uh, southeastern California, where it could be uh, 120 in Death Valley, and then we cool off to the lower 100s by Sunday. Best chance of severe weather today is in the eastern Great Lakes, but tomorrow it's an enhanced risk over central portions of North Dakota. We'll keep you up to date.